and welcome agents to this video about pineapples and what on earth do you do with them when you're stuck with them. So I'm going to scroll here, this is our recent activity in town and you can see that we've been smashed pretty much along our spine, which is fair enough, it's part of the game. There's no animosity, there's no enmity or bitterness here, it's just something that actually you're supposed to do in the game, so you've got to learn to deal with it. And you can also see our top anchor here, which uh, we use a hell of a lot at the time, and it's also been flipped with some pretty bad mods, and how on earth do we actually deal with that? Well, we'll have a look at that at the end of the video, but for the time being, let's answer the main question. What on earth is a pineapple? You can see here that this portal is owned by Jarvis. It's obviously been flipped by an opposing agent, and that the resonators, they're not spread out like you would hope they're actually as close to the portal as they can possibly manage and that means that it's going to be super easy for somebody to come along and destroy them unfortunately. This is done tactically then, it gives us a couple of choices and we have to think about what we want to do with them. So you can see that all of these portals, two of the mod slots are already taken which means that we can't shield it if we want to hack mod it or if we shield it then we can't get any hack mods and hack mods are going to be very useful on a spine if we're going to use a field engine on these portals so we have to make a decision and in this case you'll see what my decision is i'm obviously going to be upgrading and you can see it on the screen and we're going to hack mod them anyway and just deal without the shields it does leave our spine very vulnerable to opposing agents and especially if they get back to level 8 portals then they're not going to last very long, are they? So unfortunately, it leaves us in a pretty tricky situation. Our other option, though, on the other hand, is to just let them decay. So we might put hack mods on for the time being and hack them and use them for our field engine and just leave them to decay as much as possible. And it'll only take one week for them to all die. And then we can just redeploy in a better manner where the resonators are a little bit further away from the center of the portal. There is also quite a clever strategy as well if you want to increase that rate of decay. Actually what you could do is go along and scan it 13 times to release the fracker and once you've done that, as soon as the fracker ends, it depletes the portal's health by a full half of its uh, XM bar which means that it decays very very fast. But unfortunately, there are 16 portals that have been left like this in this pretty terrible state and to scan them each 13 times is 208 scans and it's probably not worth the time and the effort to do that. So instead what we're going to do is we're just going to join up the spine as normal and use it as if they haven't been pineappled at all. However, if the opposing agent actually had another person with him on the same side, then that would mean that they could fill all of those mod slots and that would leave us in a pretty terrible position and we'd be forced to do one of two things. Either we could let them decay as previously discussed so that we can get the field engine back and up and running very, very quickly, or we could virus them and use those viruses to actually flip them back to the opposing color and kill them and deploy them as we want. That unfortunately is very costly in viruses and viruses that we like to use in our field engine so if that were the case we'd probably just let them decay. Now you can see on the screen that we've got our top anchor and our top anchor is looking a bit sorry for itself and it only has two mod slots left with two poor mods on it so what we're going to do is we're going to go right to the very center of this level 8 portal using ultra strikes we're going to hit it right in the middle of there you can see that it's not even doing any damage at all to the resonators on this portal as a matter of fact that 80 ap from one ultra strike to second go is one of the mods going and that is the second one as well which means that now we can very safely flip it back using our virus and make it usable by adding the mods that we want to so as this is the top anchor then, as I say, we're probably going to need a little bit of shielding on there, but some pretty good hack mods on there as well. So one Aegis shield and maybe a couple of multi-hacks and uh, a very rare heat sink in there too, just to make sure that we can get lots and lots of keys because it is the top anchor of our field engine and we need more keys for this than any other portal. Hopefully then this video gives you a little bit of an indication about what you can do if your portals have been flipped and you need to get rid of the mods or if you're actually in possession of several pineapples as well. Now then you can watch as I completely mess up one of the glyphs in this complex glyph hack. I certainly don't get it right every single time. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you leave a comment, I'll certainly get back to you and I'll see you in the next one.